Cooling fluid is a hazardous substance composed of ethanediol and demineralized water. Always keep the cooling fluid away from your skin and your eyes. The cooling fluid may stain your clothes. Always wear protective clothing such as an apron, overalls or a lab coat. Gloves and eye protection are recommended but they are not required. You will also need the following items. A 3mm Allen wrench, a large flat blade screwdriver, several paper towels which you can use to wipe up any spilled liquid if necessary. To begin, ensure that the projector is on and that the lamp is properly cooled down. On the light engine side of the projector, use a large flat blade screwdriver to loosen the captive screw. Set the panel aside for later reassembly. Next, to gain access to the projector's engine compartment, the security cover must be removed. Warning: The engine compartment is a secure section of the projector and the cover should only be removed by Barco certified technicians. Any time that the security cover is opened, the DCI security switches are activated and red tail lights appear. Remember also that if the cover is removed, once it is replaced, you will be required to re-enter the security password with the Dallas key. To remove the security panel, use the 3mm Allen wrench to remove three screws. One located in the top rear section, one at the top front, and one on the 45 degree level. With the screws removed, lift the cover straight up and off the bottom tabs. Set the screws and panel aside for later reassembly. Now that the engine compartment is open, let's take a moment to identify a few important engine parts, each of which will be used in the three fluid procedures. The manometer is a gauge that measures air pressure. You will use this gauge during the calibration procedure. The pressure vessel is where air is added to the system by way of the Schrader valve which is next to the manometer. The heat exchanger intake hose is used to fill the system with new fluid. This hose has a female connector. The cooling block exit hose is used to remove fluid from the system. This hose has a male connector. To begin, bring the cart with all kit components as close to the projector as possible. Important. For this procedure and others to follow, remember the following important rule. Any time you connect a hose to the fluid intake, the hose must be full of liquid and free of air bubbles. To begin, ensure that the cooling block and the heat exchanger hoses are disconnected from each other, taking care to use tissue paper to absorb any excess liquid in the connectors. Take a hose with a male connector. Place the open end of the hose into a new bottle of cooling liquid. Take the short hose with the double female connectors and attach one end to the hose in the bottle and the other end to the hose of the syringe. Now draw back the plunger until both hoses are full of liquid. Next, disconnect the hose coming out of the fluid bottle and connect it to the female connector at the heat exchanger. Now place the open end of a hose with female connector into the empty bottle and connect to the hose coming from the cooling block. Next, using the communicator, select the user icon and log in at the service technician level. Enter your username and password. Access the installation tab. On that tab, select the Advanced page. Then press the Refill Mode button to display the Refill Mode pop-up menu. And then select Yes to confirm to start the pump. When you press the Activate Refill Mode button, fluid will transfer quickly. The pump will empty all the fluid from the full bottle in about 10 seconds and eject all the old internal cooling fluid into the empty bottle. Carefully watch the supply bottle. When the fluid is just about empty, press exit refill mode to stop the pump immediately. 
You now have new cooling fluid inside the projector and the old cooling fluid in the exit bottle. Now remove the hose from the bottle holding the old liquid and put it into the new bottle of cooling liquid together with the other hose. Restart the pump by selecting Activate Refill Mode. In this mode, the pump runs for 2 minutes, stops for 30 seconds and then repeats indefinitely until you select Exit Refill Mode. After selecting Exit Refill Mode, disconnect the two refill hoses attached to the projector. Now connect the syringe hose to one of the hoses in the new liquid bottle. Next, draw the plunger back until the syringe is full of liquid. Turn the syringe so that it faces up with the plunger at the bottom. This allows any air bubbles to rise to the top. Press in the plunger until there are no air bubbles in the syringe or in the hoses. Once all the air bubbles are expelled from the syringe and the hoses, use the plunger to pull additional new liquid into the syringe. Disconnect the two hoses. Now connect the hose attached to the syringe to the heat exchanger intake hose. Unscrew the cap of the Schrader valve and release the air by pushing the valve. Hold the syringe so that it faces down with the plunger at the top. Press in the Schrader valve and simultaneously use a syringe to force liquid into the system until the manometer needle moves. If the pressure doesn't go up, you'll need to refill the syringe in the same manner and force more liquid into the system. When the manometer needle moves, release the Schrader valve and disconnect the hose from the heat exchanger intake hose. Reconnect the syringe hose to the hose in the bottle of cooling liquid. Expel all remaining liquid from the syringe, leaving only the hose full of liquid. Disconnect the two hoses. Now, reconnect the syringe hose back to the heat exchanger intake hose. Connect the air pump to the Schrader valve. Slowly pump air into the system until the syringe fills up with 75 milliliters of liquid. Once the syringe has reached 75 milliliters, disconnect the air pump and force the liquid into the system until the manometer shows one bar. While holding the pressure on the syringe, Disconnect the syringe hose at the heat exchanger intake. Now, reconnect the cooling block exit hose with the heat exchanger intake hose and put the Schrader valve cap back on. If there are no air bubbles in the system and the manometer reads one bar, you can now close the projector. Align the security cover with the notches and press down firmly to seat the cover. Place and tighten the three screws. Next, replace the side panel and tighten the captive screw.